It has a unique ability to react when it is startled. It can curl its web and arms around the rest of its body, turning sort of inside out. This change in appearance may help it avoid being attacked by predators. Colossal squid, the biggest squid on the planet. See, he's hanging on to the gaff here. Over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and only 5% of the world's sea floor has been mapped out in detail. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that number? I mean, only 5%. That leaves 95% of the ocean left unexplored. So who knows what secret the ocean holds? Well, we're about to deep dive into this one and take a look at some of the scariest things that we found underwater. So it's time to brace yourselves because you're probably gonna wanna try to avoid swimming in the oceans and lakes after you watch this video. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalton, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and tell me what is your favorite sea creature in the comments section below. All right, who's ready for our list? This is the top 10 scary things found underwater. Diving right into number 10, a gigantic eye. This humongous eye requires two hands to hold it. If we put this human eye next to the behemoth, it will just look like a tiny speck of dust. The giant eyeball washed up on the shores of Pampana Beach in Florida where someone picked it up and sent it over to the Wildlife Conservation Commission to be analyzed. If I saw a huge ass bloody eye washed up on shore, I'm pretty sure my instincts wouldn't tell me to pick it up and ship it out. I would probably pack up my lunch, grab my umbrella, and make a beeline to my car and pretend like this whole thing never happened. So once the scientists analyzed this gigantic eye, they thought that it came from a swordfish or a deep water fish. But I'm thinking that there's an undiscovered massive creature lurking the ocean floor with one eye who is waiting to be discovered. And now at number nine, we have the Bermuda Triangle. No water list could be complete without mentioning the infamous Bermuda Triangle. This remains as one of Earth's its greatest mysteries. It is located in the Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Florida. A ton of airplanes and boats have vanished in this area, and no one knows what happened. It's one of the biggest mysteries. Some speculate that bad weather or human error are the culprits, but other people theorize that the area is cursed or aliens could be involved. I'm not sure about that one, but more than a thousand ships and planes have disappeared in the triangle, so maybe it's plausible. But this doesn't stop some cruise ships from sailing into these waters. Would you guys be brave enough to sail or fly over the Bermuda Triangle? Me, there's no way. Next up, number eight, we have a blob face. Someone called Guinness Book of World Records because I think I found the ugliest underwater creature in the history of ugly. He looks like his family just left him and he's going through a messy divorce. I kind of just want to give him a big hug and tell him that everything is going to be all right. Well, things are about to go from bad to worse for him because his species is in risk of becoming extinct. Fishermen in Southeast Australia are overfishing in this area and as a result of that, the blobfish are very vulnerable to become extinct. Now that I've seen his squishy face, I can't imagine a world without the blobfish. I hope that we can stop overfishing and start conservation measures for these little guys. And who knows, maybe his frown will turn into a smile. The vampire squid bites onto this list at number seven. This thing looks like he came straight from hell. Judging by his appearance and name, I would expect that the vampire squid is a fearsome predator who terrorizes other animals in the ocean. But luckily for him, he just looks terrifying. The vampire squid collect and eat drifting particles, and they like to stay in the dark, low oxygen water with only a few predators. But they have the ability to turn themselves inside out. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of freaks me out. I mean, why is he able to turn inside out? So Slithering is number six, we're, we're talking about the fang-toothed snake eel. This creature looks like he was ripped straight out of my worst nightmares. After seeing this picture, I'm done with the ocean forever. Okay, no seriously, it doesn't get much worse than this. The fang-toothed snake eel dwells at a depth of 30 to 90 meters, which is roughly about 100 to 300 feet, and males can reach lengths of 33 inches. They also enjoy eating bony fish and crustaceans. One of these creatures was found washed up on the shore in Texas after Hurricane Harvey hit, and that was back in 2017. So who knows how many more of these terrifying creatures are still out there. But you know what, I'm not willing to find out. The colossal squid swims onto this list at number five. The colossal 
fossil squid lives in the depth sea surrounding Antarctica, and it is the largest invertebrate on Earth. Keep this in mind because the squid measures in at 46 feet long and weighs in at at least 1,100 pounds. Their tentacles are covered with suckers, and they have extremely large hooks, which makes them really good at capturing and fighting off prey. Colossal squid, the biggest squid on the planet. See, he's hanging on to the gaff here. Oh, watch that mouth, they eat your life, that one. There are even reports of sperm whales being injured and scarred from the colossal squid. So these guys actually get into fights with sperm whales. Is this real life right now? I don't even want to know what the colossal squid is capable of doing to a human. Ancient skeletons crash onto our list at number four. At the bottom of Lake Rupkund in India, there are hundreds of ancient skeletons that are believed to be about 1,200 years old. They were discovered in 1942, but their origins are unknown and the location where they were found is so remote and far from any human settlement areas so no one knows how this underwater graveyard came to be. People are theorizing that these skeletons are soldiers who were on a mass suicide mission or that they're victims of a natural disaster. But I don't think we will ever find out what actually happened here. And now biting into number three we have the goblin shark. This thing looks like he clawed his way out of the depths of hell and now he's lurking at the bottom of our own. Oceans. Someone needs to send him back to where he came from. Just look at his slimy skin and little pointy sharp teeth and pointy head. Okay, damn, Mother Nature, you're you're creepy as hell. Okay, in this next clip, pay attention to how his jaws come out to bite his prey. Diver had his own ominous run-in with a goblin shark. I'm not usually scared of sharks, but this goblin shark is scary as hell. A bag of human hands brings us to number two. A man was fishing in Siberia when he reeled in a bag that contained 54 severed human hands. He must have been really disappointed because he probably thought that he was reeling in the biggest fish of his life. This has to be one of the creepiest things that anyone has ever caught. The fisherman took the bag of hands to the local police, but they weren't overly concerned. And that's because they were actually able to trace them back to a local forensics laboratory who were found guilty of disposing the body parts improperly. Yeah, improperly is totally an understatement there. Okay, what the heck? How do you just take a bag of severed hands and it's like, um, how do we dispose of them properly? Um, let's just toss them in the water. No one will ever find them. I mean, what kind of lab is that? And I'm pretty sure that's highly illegal and they should be shut down like ASAP. The frilled shark bites his way onto this list at number one. Here we have another creepy animal from the deep sea. The thing looks like a hellish hybrid of like a snake and a shark. The frilled shark has 25 rows of teeth, but they like to attack their prey like snakes. So they wrap around their prey and swallow them whole. All of those 300 teeth are used to trap the animals and make it impossible for the prey to break loose. Well, luckily for us, they live at depths of 50 to 200 meters, so we don't really have anything to fear. But deep sea divers definitely do not want to cross paths with this beast. Victims don't stand a chance. They can distend their mouths open and eat things that are more than half their body length. Well, there you guys have it. You've made it to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video. Mm -hmm.